the body and blood of our Lord and Saviour strengthen and preserve you in true faith to eternal life. Peace be with you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful meal that you provide. Not enough to still our hunger, but enough to give us strength. We thank you that through this meal we can join hands with Christians around the globe and especially Christians in this country to say let us stand up and serve the Lord where he sends us. We pray that we will receive the courage to reach out and the wisdom to be allowed to be reached out to. We pray for all those who are going through difficult times, who have lost loved ones, who are hurting, who are in fear. Strengthen them and surround them, Lord. We pray for all those who are taking initiative to restore and to rebuild, that you will strengthen them and guide them. We pray for all those who plan evil things, that you will prevent them from being successful. We pray for all who have become criminals in the past week through their looting, that you will speak to their conscience and let them repent. And we pray for those who are not willing to repent, that they will be experience justice happening. We pray for our government, which is so divided and currently not able to govern properly. Lord, strengthen the good leaders and hinder the bad leaders. Strengthen those who want to build the country and hinder those who only want to serve themselves. Lord, have mercy on our country. In this meal you have strengthened us. Through this sacrament you have promised to be with us. And it is in this trust and in this faith that we move forward into this week that lies ahead, knowing that you are with us. For that we praise your name. And now receive the blessing of the Lord. Go and serve the Lord. Go where he sends you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>